first of all, Janet, you actually know Stephen Yes, Slater. I do. Yes. Tell me, how did you come to know him? I met Stephen about maybe four or five years ago through his partner. I mm -hmm. know his partner, him, his family. Paint us a picture of him. What kind of guy is Stephen he? Stephen is absolutely delightful. I have no, I have nothing that I could say that would be decremental to his anything because he's just, he's a really, really nice guy. I, we have you like some, hung out with him we, at yes, all? Or? The first thing that we had in common was that we were both flight attendants. Uh -huh. I was a flight attendant. So we could relate to that. We could relate to travel. We could relate to shopping. We could relate to people. <laughs> And we just had a really nice report. I looked forward to him when he came home from his trips to talk mm -hmm. to him about where he'd gone, who he'd meet, what was it like. Okay, as a flight attendant, did you guys have stories, horror stories of passengers there, at there all? There were no horror stories. Mostly they were funny stories, uh -huh. just funny things that would happen anywhere, whether we landed somewhere or we were right. laying over somewhere. It was basically funny stories. But he loved his job. He really? really? So he never did. said, you know, no, I'm, no. I can't wait to as get out of here. Fact, he was also on the committee for the uniforms. Mm -hmm. And he, every time that I would, I fly JetBlue often, and every time that I flew, I would come back and I would say, Steve, Stephen, there's something that I need to address with you. You need to take care of this right away, ASAP. Oh. And he's, he loved his job, and he was, he's, a, I, he's a wonderful guy. Right. I mean, I get along great with him. Okay, he's, so you hear the story about a flight attendant going rogue, mm -hmm. and then you hear his name associated with Actually, what? this is how it happened. I came home from work, and there was this young lady sitting across the street, a journalist, and she came over and she said, did you hear what happened to Steve? Do you know Stephen? And then I said, yes. And then she says, well, such and such, this is, this is exactly what happened. And I said, oh, my God, I can't believe it. And I started laughing. Really? I okay. started laughing because I couldn't picture. Because if you see all of his pictures that have been posted mm -hmm. and, and have been out there in the newspaper from his Facebook and stuff, you would see that exactly what's on those pictures is what Stephen is all about. He's happy. happy? He, he's just got a wonderful personality. Okay, well, where did this come from then? You know what? Sometimes people, and I'm saying people, have problems or things that go on in their lives, and sometimes it gets to a point where it just might become too much to handle. Mm -hmm. and, and at any moment's notice, something could just happen to you where it just triggers you. And Stephen has his mother. His mother's not well. Right, and I he's hear his very, 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 very close to his mother. Her. He's very close to his mother. He's an only child. And he had just actually gotten back from visiting his mother, mm -hmm. who's going to have, she has a battle ahead of her. Right, right. And I really feel, I feel for him. I feel for him. Okay, Randy Cohen, author of the Ethicist column for the New York Times Magazine, and also Amy Feldman, attorney and author of So Sue Me, Jackass. I love that title. Okay, I'm t let me just tell you guys. Whenever I go, I, I travel a lot. Whenever I go on the plane, I am extra, extra nice to the flight attendants mm -hmm. because I know they deal with some jerks as passengers. And I'm always really super sweet to them. I've never had an incident like this where somebody goes off on me. So I don't know, you know, but it's interesting. A lot of people, like on my Facebook page, my Twitter page, they're like, go team, I'm team flight attendant because they feel that there are so many passengers who are rude. So Randy, let me ask you, is this guy a hero to many people? He's a knucklehead and a hero. <laughs> he's a he's knucklehead, knucklehead hero. Too? Sure, that, that air tra uh, no one endorses what he did. This is not the way to behave on your job, of course. We all know that. Mm -hmm. But who can't sympathize with him? Right. That air travel is, with all due respect, so hellish. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but that, it's hellish think, for the flight attendants, too, well, don't you Oh, think? absolutely. Yeah. And, and it was sort of, uh, I'm not a flight attendant, mm -hmm. although I would look good in that uniform. <laughs> you would. Uh, <laughs> um, um, that, that to find it's not just, you know, you finish a flight and, and you're friends say, how was the flight? What could the answer be? Good? I had fun? Oh, I can't wait? It's well, I so always bad. say if we land safely, it was a right. good flight. No one was killed. Right. That's the best you can say. Exactly. Um, but that it's not only so bad for the passengers, mm -hmm. it's now gotten so bad for the hardworking flight crews that even they can't stand it. So right. I think he's being admired for that, that at least someone said, who can stand to be in this horrible, stinking cylinder treated like cattle? Oh. Amy, then some people are saying, I, because uh, Stephen, he was, uh, he had to go before the judge. Now, some people are saying that he should get jail time because he could have injured somebody on the ground when he released that shoot. I mean, somebody could have been killed. Well, I think that there are potential criminal charges. You know, you can't just be releasing evacuation, you know, willy-nilly wherever you choose and then 
flee in an airport, certainly there are security concerns. But let's face it, who hasn't been in a position where somebody is in desperate need of having a little butt kicked? And apparently, he's the guy who's going to do it. I mean, I don't know a single employee, regardless of the situation that they're going through, who hasn't said to somebody at their workplace for the 700th time something that they've been ignored for. Mm -hmm. And who wouldn't want to grab a beer, <laughs> evacuate the chute, uh -huh. and walk out the door? OK, well, Chris Jess on my Twitter plate says, I'm team flight attendant. Customer <laughs> service is hard work, and some people are so rude and ignorant. He reached the end of his rope, and I got to tell you, a lot of the people who have been emailing me have said exactly that, that this guy just reached the end of his rope, and you know what? They actually applaud him.